Even Tendoko can't do anything about that one. That's a nasty delivery. Say good morning to Ravi Shastri. Morning, Tony. And big good morning to all our viewers wherever you are. Oh, what was that? Well, a loose note from Ambrose. Michael Holding said in his pitch report that there is quite a bit of moisture in the surface. So the second wide of the innings in this over. That's going to be a problem for the West Indies bowlers if there continues to be this much movement. Well, that's very strict. Umpire Eddie Nichols signals are wide. Ambrose can't believe it, and I don't blame him, really. That really is uh, far too strict by the umpire. Over. An eventful first over. Over. Three wide to the run. Ambrose starts over number three. Well, that's the second successive cotton ball he's dropped in the last week. Off Tendoka, put him down in the test match in Georgetown. Very similar cotton ball chance, two handed, straight back to him, and he put it down again this time. Well, again, the bounce, which has got the attention of Sachin Tendoka. And it looks as if that spot is a little bit damper than the rest of the pitch. Over. And here is Silu trying to do the same thing. Not quite having the same effect. Extras are helping out India's cause here. That was for overstepping of that front crease. But even Tendoka can't do anything about that one. That's a nasty delivery. But if there's anything that's slightly loose, he's going to pounce on it. That'll go away. Tendulkar collecting boundaries all over the place. India have raced on to 33 without loss. Starting over number five. Give it a night, let the show off. Civil goals. And then it goes, here's his finger. And India have lost their first wicket for 40. This one just cutting back into Sidhu from Ambrose. Nichols deciding that that would have hit leg stump. That's why I said that score really doesn't tell you the story. It's not been easy for the batsmen out there. It's just the brilliance of Tendulkar that has allowed India to reach that score of 40. So Drabi gets off the mark. Inside the wicket very, very quickly, and yet another four for Tendulkar. He really is creating problems for the West Indies and joy for the Indian supporters. Just 
just overstepping the Ambrose. Beaten. And push for two here and they should get them. Through to Courtney Brown. It's 54 for one. Edge and gone. And Tendoka, it's a big nick on that one. Ambrose does the deed with Courtney Brown. And that's the wicket. It sets the crowd alight. Straight away, he's underway. Again, this is risky business, and it'll be gone. <laughs> Ambrose and Walsh to finish. And that won't make it any easier for India. A lot of experience. stay because the arm's gone out genuinely beaten beaten with pace and a bit of movement as well that one going back from outside off stump well it's almost done it again this time with a lacquer bounce out of this miss It hasn't been a fun over this for Nyan Mongia. And being the wicketkeeper, he won't appreciate getting blows on the hand like that. Right, There's a cracking shot. You only get one for it. He's bowled in. No answer to that one from Kirkley Andrew, and this time it wasn't a no boy, so Joshi has to go. He's always on target, Kirkley Ambrose. Joshi initially looking to give himself room on the onside. Ambrose following him and pegging back that leg stump. Wanting a single, sent back by Mongia. Well, he can finally run here without any risk. Well done. But there would have been a risk for the second. You can't cut a Yorker from Kirtley Ambrose. That's the result. Oh, this is the world-class fast bowler. This is very, very best. An excellent Yorker. Bang on target. Mongia giving himself room. That one really crashes into the middle stump. With one ball left in the over. Oh! Useful runs here for India. Adams elects not to hurl the ball at the stumps. The batsman had the run safely taken. Adams will go this time. He's done. 